Welcome to a series of video screencasts on how to use the City of Chicago and Cook County data portal to visualize data. In this example, example one, we will start with a table of data that has location information and generate a map. A good example is the 311 graffiti removal requests. So I'll search the portal for this data set. And here it is, so I will click on it to open it up. We'll see the table. Each row in the table represents one request, one call to the 311 center. And we see the data that's in the table. The interesting columns are what type of surface, where it's located. And if I scroll over to the right, we will see the street address and some other ways to locate it, such as X and Y, latitude, longitude, and location. In our example, we'll be using location, which is really a combination of latitude and longitude. To create the map, click Visualize, then click Map, and set up the map. We'll use a Google map. We will use a, make it a point map. The portal is suggesting to use the location column for the location data. We'll leave that. That's correct. And we can build a flyout. These flyouts are the boxes that appear when you click on the location on the map. And we'll give it a title of street address. We'll add some detail, the surface. We'll add another one, the where it's located. Click Apply to create the map. In this panel we'll see the map result over here on the left. We still have the detail of the graffiti down at the bottom and we still have the visualize panel open on the right. Now at this level of magnification, which is very high, you can't see the individual graffiti items. So the portal aggregates those underneath the circles. And under this red circle is almost 3,000 requests. Under this orange circle is about 300 and under this yellow circle is about uh, 70. The color coding of the circles, if it's under 100 it goes, it becomes yellow. If it's between 100 and 1,000 it's orange and over 1,000 they're red. Now to see the graffiti we click on the map to zoom in and since this is going to take a while I'm going to pause the video while I so I've clicked six or seven times and I'm down to a street level where we can see the individual request for graffiti removal. If I click one, we see the title, we see the surface, and we see where it's located. If you like this visualization, this map, and would like to save it, you first log into the portal, which I already have done, and then click Save As. Give a name. Oops. and then click Save. So this will save my map for my future use or I can let other people use it. And notice a digit 1 appears above the More Views. This will show somebody who's looking at these, this data set that somebody's created a, a view of some sort and they can click on that button, More Views, and it shows my map that I just saved. And they could open that up and take a look at it. So in summary, we started with a table of data with location information in it and created a map and then we saved it for other people to use. Welcome to a series of video screencasts about how to use the City of Chicago and Cook County data portal. In this first example, we will take a table of data with location information and generate a map from it. Let's use the 311 graffiti removal requests. So I'll do a search for it. And here's the data set. So click on it to open it. And we'll now see the table of data. Each row represents one call to the 311 center since the first of the year for removal of graffiti. Some of the more interesting data in this table, what type of surface is the graffiti on, where is the graffiti located, and what we care about for our map 
is the location data. They give us several options, street address, XY, latitude, longitude. We will use location column, which is really a combination of latitude and longitude data. To create the map, you click Visualize, then click Map, and now we'll set up our map type. Let's use a Google map, and we'll make a point map out of it. The location information will be pulled from the location column. This is suggested by the data portal, and that's correct, so we'll use it. We can add details for each point on the map. When you click on it, we will give it a title, which is street address. And the flyout box, the details of the flyout box, that's the box when you click on the map point. Let's put type of surface. We'll add another one. And where the graffiti is located. We are ready to generate the map, so let's click Apply. And in this screen, we'll see the map in the upper left, and we have the details of the graffiti, each graffiti request at the bottom, and we still have the Visualize panel on the right. You can close those if you click those little X's if you'd like to see more of the map. At this level of magnification, which is very low, very high in the air, you can't see the individual graffiti locations, and the portal aggregates those. So under the red circle here, there are almost 3,000 requests. Likewise, under this orange circle, there are about 300, and under the yellow circle are 72. The color scheme is yellow is 1 to 100, orange represents 100 to 1,000, and over 1,000 are in red. Now to see uh, individual graffiti locations, we have to zoom in, and you can either do that with the plus sign over here, or you can just click on the map. And it will take a bit of time to zoom down to street level, so I'm going to pause the video, and I'll restart it once I get down to a lower level. And now, after six or seven clicks, I'm showing a much higher magnification view of the city. We're down to near a street level, and we can see individual graffiti locations. If I click on one, we'll see the flyout, which has the title of the street address, type of surface, and where it's located. If you're happy with this visualization and want to save it for other people or for your use, you can log into the data portal and then click Save As, give it a name, Click Save. And we'll note that now there's a small number one appearing on top of the More Views button to show anybody who's looking at this data set. Somebody saved some sort of view. And to see it, you can click the More Views button. And here we see the map that I just created and just saved. So in summary, we have started with a table of data that had location information, built a map that showed the locations of each of the rows in the table. In this, in this example, it was graffiti requests, and then saved it for future use.